Hey everybody, this is a tutorial video for how to build the dual caged sphere. Now the first thing you're going to need is a sphere. And I haven't done a tutorial video for this shape, but there are plenty of good ones on the internet. I will post a link for one. And that's the first thing you need. Uh, you also need um, stacked pentagon rings, and I think in total you need 48 of them. And you also need these, which are 60 stacked rings of 26 magnets. And then, you finally, you need uh, 20 of these subunits here. And the way you make those, move those out of the way, uh, each one is made out of a stack of 25 uh, hexagon rings. And so what you do is you cut this stack of 25 up into four stacks of six, and then just one little pentagon ring. And so what you do is you take these, and let me just make sure I'm doing this with the correct polarity. Okay, so you take one, and then you would take another one, and not like that, attach them together just like that. Then you take a third one, attach it there, until you get this. Now you take this one little pentagon ring, or hexagon ring rather, and pinch it into a triangle, and you're going to add this down across this top part. Just like that. And then finally, you want to take this, and you're going to set it down on top of the center hexagon, and these three legs should kind of bend downwards a little bit when you put that on, because they'll bend to attach to it. And that's how you make those, and you need 20 of them. So, the first thing that you do to start assembling this thing is you take 36 of your 48 uh, pentagon rings, and you cut them up into stacks of three. And for each stack of three rings, you're going to place it down on one of the pentagons that are arranged across the surface of the sphere. Just like that. And there are 12 pentagons on the surface of the sphere, so you need to cut up 12 stacks of three and add them all across the sphere. Okay, and so you have those pentagon rings placed on the sphere. And so then, what you want to do is you want to take your 60 stacked rings of 26 magnets and kind of cut them up into long straight pieces. And I doubt I have enough room on the table to do this all at once, so I'll just cut up some for now. Okay, and so you want to take these and attach them on the sphere so that they bridge from one stack of pentagons to the next. Just like that. And you want to take um, all of them and you'll end up building an icosahedron frame when you do that.
Now, one more thing that I forgot to mention that you uh, will need to know if you haven't watched my icosahedron frame tutorial video before is that when you complete each of these corners, you want to take a pentagon ring and add it down like that. And that really helps to add a lot of strength to the whole shape. And once you complete uh, three adjacent corners that form a triangle, you can go ahead and flip it over onto that completed triangle and uh, then finish the shape. Okay, and so now that part is done. And if you've built or seen my uh, original shape that I called the caged sphere, you'll notice that this is almost exactly like that one. The only difference is that I used uh, all 12 corner supports instead of just six. And the icosahedron frame is a little bit smaller. But otherwise, it's basically the same shape so far. So now what you want to do is take these. And what you're going to do is attach this hexagon down on top of the hex ring in the very middle of the triangle. And you see it's not actually a hex ring. It's where three hex rings come together because you can't like see a black hole in it. But uh, it still works and that is where you want to attach these. And if you have the polarity right, it should mesh in like the rest of this and not stack on top. So just go like that. And you want to do five of these in a ring around one corner to start with. Okay, and now that you have that completed, you can flip it over on top of this carefully. And once it's flipped, you can go ahead and continue doing the same thing to complete the shape. And there you go. That is how you build the dual caged sphere. And I'm not gonna smash this one because I wanna reuse these pieces for my next tutorial video. So I'll smash it in that one.